Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Capri. And if you've been struggling to find ways to make your Instagram feed and stories more aesthetically pleasing, then keep watching. actually came highly requested. I'm going to be giving you different tips and tricks on how to take your Instagram stories to a whole new level. It's going to give you that aesthetic that you've been looking for, sis. Okay. I'm going to be showing you how to use different tools, how to put different backgrounds on your photos, how to use different apps, all that good stuff. So let me go ahead and screen record my phone so you can follow along with me. And make sure you're liking this video so it can add it to one of your playlists and you can go back to it for a quick reference later whenever you need to. So the first thing I'm going to be showing is color overlay. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the Instagram app, pull that up. I'm going to swipe over to go into stories and I'm going to pull up a boomerang that I already have in my favorites. So I'm going to go into an album I already have. Okay. so. A company that I've been working with called Honey Drop Lemonade requested that we uploaded some footage, some stories, anything to help promote their brand. So right here I have a boomerang that I already uploaded, but I'm going to do it again for the purposes of this video. So this is the boomerang here. So what you want to do, you see these little squiggly lines here at the top? You want to go ahead and tap that. It's right next to the letters. And you want to click the third one, which looks like um, like a highlighter. So you're going to click that. Then you're going to pick a color that you want the overlay to be. So for this, I think I want to do like a yellow. So I'm going to pick the color yellow at the bottom. Take my finger and I'm going to hold down on the screen. And voila, just like that, you have a color overlay. So the next thing I want to show you all is an app called Unfold. This app is totally free to download. They do, of course, have a pro version that you can purchase, but I just use the free version. So I'm going to go ahead and click into it. And what you want to do first is click on the plus sign right at the bottom of the screen. And you're going to add a story title. So I'm just going to say IG story. I like to use this app when I am uploading new videos. So I'm going to show different thumbnails, different clips and previews of the video that I just uploaded. So that's a little bit of what I'm going to show you right here. So I'm going to click the plus sign again and they have an array of different um, layouts that you can use. My most favorite one that I like to use is this one right here on the right it's like three that's layered so you can do three videos you can do your thumbnail in the middle and two different video clips above and below it all kind of different things but for right now i'm going to go ahead and use this so as you see here there's two different plus signs so that means you have two different types of media that you can input into this area so for this one, I want to do two different videos and these videos are going to play simultaneously, but they're going to relate to each other. So for the background, I'm going to go ahead and go to that album that I already created and I'm going to pick this one. Okay. So for this one, this is a video that I've already uploaded on my YouTube channel. It's a preview of a wig that I was styling. So I'm going to put the video of me styling the wig behind it and in the front, I'll show me showing off the video. So I'm going to go ahead and click the little eye in the bottom left corner and this is how it looks so far. Now what you want to keep in mind for this is that only one of your videos needs to have audio unless you're going to have two different audios going at the same time and they're going to be competing with each other and it's not going to sound right. There are ways to mute one video, but it's just better to just have audio on one of your videos. Now you also can have one photo in front with the video behind as well. And you can also change the color of the little white border that's around the inside picture. So I'm going to go ahead and click what looks like a pencil tool at the bottom right. And I want to go to background and they have a few different colors that you can choose from. So a lot of times I like to choose the brown because it just goes with the aesthetic of my brand. So 
So once I click the brown, you see that there's brown around the inside of the video. And just like that, you have something that makes it even more aesthetically pleasing for your stories. So another little quick way to spice up your Instagram aesthetics is to play with the boomerang effects because that can really like boost you up and get you some like really good views. So we're gonna go ahead, go into the Instagram app. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new story. And you wanna click on boomerang on the left and it looks like a little infinity sign. So I'm gonna go ahead and record, I guess I record my YouTube setup right now. And you just wanna hold it down and you want some type of motion to make it look like a boomerang. So right now, this is how it looks straight out of the boomerang setting. So I'm gonna click at the fourth icon at the top, the boomerang icon, and right now it's set on classic. So the next one next to it is slow mode. That's the one that I like to use the most because it's the most dramatic to me. The one next to it is called echo. If you want something that looks kind of like quirky and I don't know, just weird, <laughs> I would use echo. And the one next to that is duo. So duo kind of moves really, really fast and it gives it a really dramatic effect. So we're gonna stick with slow-mo. There's a lot of things you can use this for. I like to use this when I am recording content about morning time, my morning routines, when I'm making cups of coffee, um, if you want to put like creamer in your coffee and you want to do a boomerang, that's really, really cute. So go ahead and steal that idea. Now, I don't know about you, sis, but a lot of times Instagram be hating on you, girl, and they don't want to show my feed posts to all of my followers. So you have to find ways to get your followers to see your posts in little sneaky ways using some tips and tricks. So one of my favorite ways is to go into my photo, my most recent photo, and I wanna go ahead and click the third icon under my photo, and that's going to add this post to my story. So I'm gonna bring that up. I'm gonna click the fourth icon at the top, the little squiggly line again. I'm gonna click the eyedropper at the bottom of the screen. And what this is gonna do is pick colors out of the photo and it's gonna make that your background color. So I'm gonna choose the color of my outfit. I'm gonna click the fourth icon with the little dots around it at the top. And I'm gonna hold down on the background and voila, my background is the color of something that I picked out of this photo. Now you can pick any color that you want at the bottom, it doesn't matter. I just like to use something that's in the photo so it can just be seamless. And another tip that I have, I'm gonna go ahead and click done for that. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm going to like kind of block out a portion of this photo, which will make them tap on the photo and actually go see it in my feed, which will boost my engagement on my feed. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the letters option at the top for text. And I wanna choose the fourth option um, out of the letter styles that they give. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on color again, use my eyedropper, and I wanna pick the color that's the background and the color that's in the photo as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and click space, like however many times you want to, like 10 times. And then at the top, I'm gonna to click the A with the stars in it. And I'm gonna click that color again, hold it down and click the A with the stars again, and it should change the color of your background. Go ahead and click done. Now for this, you just wanna be careful because like I just did right here, it's gonna get lost in the background, but I know exactly where it's at. So I'm gonna go ahead and recenter this photo. I'm going to pick the little text rectangle bar that I just created, and I'm gonna rotate it with two fingers, and I'm gonna stretch it out and make it bigger. And there it is. So that way you can hide the photo and they'll be forced to click on the photo and go to your page to actually see it. Now this last tip is gonna be kind of a two in one. First, I wanna show you how to pick different backgrounds that you can find on the web. And I'm also gonna show you how you can add multiple photos and videos to the same story. 
So I'm on Pinterest.com and they have tons and tons of backgrounds that you can choose from, different aesthetically pleasing ones. Depending on what your aesthetic that you're going for is, you can find different like, um, let's say you wanna go for like a tan aesthetic. So you could just type in tan aesthetic wallpaper and you have like tons that will come up and there's different ones they have some with like some floral arrangements on there but for this one i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go with the honey drop lemonade theme that i showed earlier so i'm gonna go on here and i'm gonna look for lemon background wallpapers let's see what that gives us so you have an array of wallpapers here that you can use so let's see, let me find one that I think is really pretty. Okay, so this one right here is really eye-catching. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hold down on that and I'm gonna add to photos. So I'm gonna go ahead in Instagram and I'm going to add a story. And I'm going to pick that lemon backdrop and it's automatically on there. So to add photos and videos to this is really easy but you have to work really fast because Instagram will kick you out of it and it'll be a total mess. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and minimize this. So I'm gonna go into photos. I'm gonna click on the photo that I want. I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna click copy. Then I'm scroll back over to my Instagram window and it's gonna automatically post it. You just wanna click add sticker and voila, there you have it. You can add as many as you want. It could be photo, video, and you can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. You can move it around. So I'm gonna post that one right there and I'm gonna go back into my photos. And I want this one right here to be next to it. So I'm gonna copy that, go back into Instagram. Once again, it will paste it there for you. And I'm gonna post this one. It's gonna like overlap it, but yeah. So it could be any size, any shape. You can do that. You can also add gifs to it if you want to. So this is, a campaign where it's about saving the bees so I'm going to actually type in bees and I want to use like some bee graphics right there in the middle and these are ways that are just gonna keep it real engaging for the people who are watching your your stories they're gonna come back and they're gonna watch your stories all the time you're gonna watch your views go up a lot because it's gonna be more interesting and more aesthetically pleasing so those are just a few of the tips and the tricks that I use on a daily basis to make my Instagram stories more aesthetically pleasing. Let me know which ones were your favorite, which ones you didn't know about. Tell me some more down below in my comments that you know about that I may not know about. So, you know, you can hook your sister up or whatever. So yeah, go ahead and like this video. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification next to the subscription button so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. So let me know if you want to see more things like this on my page down below in the comment section. And I'll see y'all glam dolls later.